Hello Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome back. Scorpio, this is going to be your next 48 hours reading. Um, what's coming forward, what you can expect, uh, what's coming the next 48 hours, okay? Um, let's take a look, let's dive right in. Okay, we have the Judgment card. The Ace of Cups. The Moon card. Wow, the High Priestess. What is up with all these major arcanas? Wow, Scorpio. Intense message. Okay, with this Judgment card, I feel like there's going to be some sort of new beginning. I feel like in the next 48 hours, you're going to feel a lot of... Well, you're going to... Feel a lot of hope for this new beginning. This may be a love situation to where maybe you have had some time away from each other. But I feel like you're trying to renew this love um, or something that you love. I feel like something is being reborn. Something is being renewed. Um, there's a new beginning happening here. And I feel like with the with the, the moon card and the high priestess, I feel like there's a lot of things left unanswered. Um, but I feel like you, you are trying to have so much trust in this situation. You're trying to uncover the mysteries that are being hidden. Okay? A very interesting message to you, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like you're you're trying to find some kind of clarity in a situation but I feel like you have a lot of hope for um, what this is that you're creating what this is that's coming uh, the next 48 hours I feel like mm, you have a lot of hope for the situation I feel like if this is a person you care very deeply for this person but you feel like there's a lot of things hidden that you need to find answers um Hmm. And we have the, the Five of Wands, the Strength card, <clears throat> the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, if this is a love issue, this may be someone that you're very familiar with, someone that may be trying to rekindle a situation. Um, this could be someone... From your past, an ex, or past love. Um, but I feel like, you know, there's a lot of back and forth. Uh, with this Five of Wands energy, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth energy. I feel like there's kind of, maybe they stay for uh, a couple weeks, a couple months, and then they leave. And then they stay for a couple months, a couple weeks, and then they leave. It's kind of a lot of back and forth energy. That's what I'm getting with this, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like you're kind of, you're tired of being strong in the situation. Maybe you, you, you feeling strength. Um, I feel like you're trying to focus on more on yourself. You're trying to pull back your energy so that you don't need this person as much as they think you need them. I feel like you're trying to be honest with yourself as well as with this person. Maybe that you just can't go through this tug of war anymore. You're kind of being worn out from moving back and forth in the situation. Um, and I feel like with this Queen of Swords energy, I feel like there's some truth that's going to come out. I feel like you're finally able to be honest with yourself as well as with your person that you just don't want to go through these lessons again. She's being surrounded by the lessons of the past. And I feel like, you know, you're trying to remove some of them swords so that you can break yourself free. You know, I, I feel like you're surrounding yourself, you're boxing yourself in because, you know, you're in this reoccurring situation. 
And it seems like the more it reoccurs, the more it stays the same. The more it reoccurs, the more it stays the same. You know, there's no... It, it's just, it, it just feels like an endless loop to me, Scorpio. Very interesting energy. Um, but I feel like it's something that, that you want to get past. You don't want to have to deal with this situation any longer. Um, so I feel like within the next 48 hours, you're going to come to some kind of honest truth. To where you, you're you going to make a final decision on the situation. Um, I feel like whatever the situation is, you're kind of finally able to make that honest final decision. Whether you want to stay or whether you want to go. Okay? Uh, let's get some more cards for clarity. Okay, Scorpio. And we have the strength card again. So I definitely feel like whatever this is, I feel like you are strong enough to win this battle. You have all the strength you need to get through the situation. You're you're you have strength clarified by strength, you know? So um it's time for you to show yourself that unconditional love, that unconditional acceptance. Um, forgiveness okay um, give me more messages for Scorpio okay we have the king of wands and we have the page of wands so with this king of wands energy I feel like you know to be totally honest with you I feel like with this king of wands energy I feel like this relationship is more sexual than it is intellectual okay I feel like there's an attraction between you two I feel like the chemistry the sexual chemistry is really outstanding so that's what kind of keeps you coming back um, but I feel like that that sexual ener energy that passion only goes so far and then you're needing more you're wanting more of a commitment more of a um, more of a love you know you're wanting more emotion not just sexual emotion okay and I, I feel like you're kind of listening and waiting for this situation to change I feel like you're waiting for some kind of word some kind of initiation some kind of um, <clears throat> some kind of first move you know you're waiting for them to make the first move I think Scorpio um, but I'm not sure that they will we have the nine of swords energy so I feel like there there's disappointments there's there's a lot of worry and disappointment here it, and I'm I'm also feeling like there's a lot of insecurity there's things that are kind of holding you back with, you know, we have the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords. So you're moving from this Eight of Swords energy into this Nine of Swords. So in, instead of gaining ground, you're kind of losing ground because I feel like this Eight of Swords these insecurities that you're surrounding yourself with are kind of pushing you into this depression into feeling a lot of anxiety okay but you are a beautiful soul Scorpio so you have the ability to kind of move past this to get through this okay um, yeah we have the high priestess again so trust yourself trust your intuition Scorpio because you have the ability the high priestess is you know very intuitive she can kind of learn the secrets as she goes um, all of the wisdom 
she has a very good understanding of because she listens so closely to her intuition. She trusts herself. She trusts um, her thinking, her ability. You know, and I feel like that's what you need to do, Scorpio. I feel like you need to learn how to trust yourself. Trust your ability. Because you, people notice you. People see you, you know. Because you're this beautiful soul, Scorpio. You're this beautiful person. And I feel like you, you carry your emotions very well. Being a Scorpio, you know, you're very nurturing, very supportive, very... Um, loving <clears throat> and I feel like you know sometimes that gives people the ability to kind of take advantage of you but I feel like you're noticed I feel like people take notice of you you are recognized the, you, you will receive some kind of reward for you know your efforts you know and I feel like with this strength card coming out twice that's exactly what you, you may decide to reward yourself for your efforts that's what I'm getting with this double strength okay so oh, Scorpio what am I gonna do with you I don't know what I'm gonna do with Scorpio uh, let's get some cards for Scorpio What's going on with Scorpio next 48 hours? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know next 48 hours? Okay, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Exactly, Scorpio. Persevere, strength, perseverance, strength. Okay? Uh, don't give up. Trust yourself. And we have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So I feel like, you know, somewhere along the line, maybe you're using your, in, your uh, imagination in order to create something different, in order to, like, bring something forward. Because we also have growth at the bottom. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I feel like somewhere... You know, in this 48 hours, I feel like there's growth. There's expansion. Um, you may be using your your imagination in different ways, you know. Um, but I feel like with that imagination card, I feel like you, you are increasing your awareness. You're trusting yourself and your intuition more. Okay? And we have recovery. So the next 48 hours, I feel like, is going to be a recovery period for you, Scorpio. Um, you're going to be taking more time out for yourself to focus on yourself and your own needs. Do something special for yourself. Do something that, you know, makes you feel good. Whatever you desire to do. I mean, go to the salon. Go get your nails done. Go to the gym. Go, you know, if you're male or female, you know, pick something that you like to do and go ahead and do that. You know, and we have soulmate. So the next 48 hours, what you don't see is that there may be a soulmate situation that's coming forward for you. But this situation needs to be resolved first. Okay. And we also have insecurity on the bottom. So I feel like working past your insecurities is going to be very helpful too. Um, when it comes to soulmate energy, you know. Confidence is key. Being more confident in your situation, of course, makes a more attractive person, a more balanced and well-rounded person. So being able to find your confidence, your self-assurance, um, is going to make you feel much better, I think. Okay? And we have honor your feelings. So during that time of recovery, make sure you forgive yourself. Make sure you forgive whoever else you need to forgive, Scorpio. And honor your feelings. Don't just try to bottle them up or put them, um, put them on the inside. 
you know, feel what you feel. Let that out. Okay? We have a first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. So, I already feel like you're humble, um, Scorpio. We also have new moon in Cancer. Just relax. Okay? So, there, there's... I feel like in the next 48 hours, there's going to be time for a renewal. There's going to be time for recovery, for forgiveness. Your soulmate may also come into the picture within the next 48 hours. But I feel like you're, you're coming into this new awareness, Scorpio. And I feel like taking time out to really focus on what you desire is going to be very helpful. So Scorpio, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay? And until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.